Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What makes this much power? There. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. These journal. A key. I wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflict- Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right.
What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Creepy. Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. Police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. This is all about Norman Osborn. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Okay, through the floor grate. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Osborne. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. 
I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. Mark I web shooters. Managed to improve the storage capacity. <laughs> Funny, my fear of heights didn't go away when I got my powers. Had to climb to the top of the Empire State to get over that. City into a war so are you guys terrorists or criminals? Because I can't keep it straight. <laughs>
Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get... Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short.
Why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. We can tune the prosthetic's grip force. That's better. Should avoid bone crushed. Interesting. Doc's hardwiring in a basic spatial mapping system. Still have a sense of their need to tune the arms gyro to auto orient. really help user Doc was trying to improve the actuator's granularity. Nice. Super smooth response. Doc's trying to lower the overall power consumption of the prosthetic.
hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. on Adrian Toombs, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but Sorry. so is my tax bill. Watch your face already, you friggin' vigilante! You're not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. I need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. Yo, Rick. We built this war beast for Lee. He finances the boss's new venture. Need to get into that office. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. If boss sees that, he'll be pissed. You tried any yet? Only samples. What are they the boss building? Is, still perfecting the recipe. is this all Man. for Lee? It's got a kick. this big where is it I swear I left it over here yo has anyone seen the 316 socket driver Pick up more beer after our last run. 
What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Yo, man. Why's the boss being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything? Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still, Bill's paranoid. Who asked you? Get back to work. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. What's in these? Boss! Come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Uh. Won't notice? Uh. Cause it won't be there! Uh. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! Stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. Building for Lee. But why does he need an here we go? GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? Alright, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I wanna say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were... Pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking. What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Ooh. 
Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. <laughs>